Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're gonna to show you how to upgrade and swap the 12 volt battery in your Chevy Silverado EV. So this is one of the first trucks from GMC using this Ultium platform that they are doing now. And they are very cool and they kind of hit the mark as far as what it needs to be to be an EV truck. Because the EV trucks like the Lightning and the Rivian, they're cool and they have, certainly they have value and they're very neat and I love trucks and they're great for that. But when it comes to doing truck stuff, which I include towing in that, uh, they really miss the mark because you can't go very far or charge very fast in, in enough to make it make sense. But with these, you really can. The Altium pack on this one, because this is an RST, has the 24 module Altium pack. So it's the bigger battery that has more than 200 kilowatt hours usable energy. And the, this vehicle with this all-terrain tires on it right now is getting about 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour in its lifetime average. And so that includes a little bit of towing. And so that number is really, really good. Like these are just, they're very good, functional, useful trucks. So that's enough of talking about the truck. Now we'll show you how to do the 12 volt battery swap. All right, so today we're actually putting in this H7 battery, which is a new battery we're starting to offer now. And we've got it both in lithium and sodium. And the H7 is gonna fit all of these GMC Altium trucks, like the Silverado EV, of course, but also the Sierra Denali and the Hummer. Um, they all use the same, they're the, basically the same batteries, the same motors, and a lot of the same core components. And they also happen to use the same 12 volt battery, which is great. The tools that you will need are a 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, socket wrench, and Optionally, I use a cordless drill with a attachment, and so I don't necessarily need a socket wrench, but that's up to your, your preference. Then for safety, because there's acid in the battery coming out and the potential for that acid to be leaking around the terminals or, or out of the cracks on the side of the battery is, is, is present, I would always recommend having some kind of gloves with a plastic or a rubber um, coating to them. And some kind of safety glasses to make sure your eyes stay safe. The other thing that we suggest if you see that your battery is pretty bad and has some acid around it is to go ahead and put the battery straight into a plastic bag. And uh, if it's really thin plastic, bag, maybe double wrap it a couple times um, because that acid can just chew up everything around it. And so the good thing to do is to make sure that the acid doesn't get anything. So put it right into there because it could eat up the paint in your car or the carpet inside of your car when you're transporting it to an auto parts store to recycle it. Um, so that's just a good, good thing to do. All right, let's get into it. Let's remove this panel first, which is the 12 volt battery access cover. And it is all clips and they all pull straight up. There's two up there, two over here and two over here. Then we're gonna remove this cover and the first thing we will do in this process is actually to remove the connector going to the 12 volt positive lug. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go right here and remove this 10 millimeter, we're gonna loosen this 10 millimeter bolt that keeps the clamp tight to the terminal. Once that is off, then this whole thing is a little bit loose. There's two plastic clips, one on this side the battery and one over here on this side. And you'll need to kind of work those off. If you get this side up and then kind of just wiggle it over to the other side, then that should come off. Now the positive terminal is removed, but to get this more out of your way to get the battery out, we're actually gonna remove this connector here, which is done by unlocking it, by sliding that red tab, then press the button and you can un connect that or disconnect that then you can tuck that a little bit out of your way and up next we will remove these two Christmas tree connectors they can be a pain and you gotta just kind of wiggle and pull until you get them all the way out that will give you a little more clearance and space for when you remove this bracket here to get that out of the way. 
So then we'll come in with a 13 millimeter and remove this bolt here, which will allow us to take that bracket off the top. Now with that bolt removed and the connectors out of the way, we can remove this bracket. So removing that bracket, this part slides in to a tab down there. So when you get it loose on this side, you lift it up and then you slide it away from the fender of the car and then that should allow it to come off. So now we'll loosen the negative terminal. And with that loose, we can disconnect this terminal and unplug this tab here by sliding the red lock down and then depressing the connector. Now you've got the negative lug out of the way and the positive is off. The last thing holding the battery down is right down here and it's a little lock that holds the feet of the battery down. So we will loosen that, take that off with a 13 millimeter. And then once that's loosened up, we can remove this. And that part is set to the side as well. All right, now with the bracket in the top and the bracket in the front removed and the lugs removed, we can now lift this battery out. And it is heavy, so be advised. Uh, it's gonna take a little muscle to get it out. Shift the battery this way and this way to get it out from underneath the little, um, the little edges that hold the feet down. Then you should be able to lift it straight up with a little meandering. And now we will swap this big heavy battery out with a nice light lithium battery that'll go in way easier. All right, we're gonna weigh the batteries to compare now. Here's the OEM lead acid weighing in at 50.4 pounds. Next up, we will measure the lithium. and we've got 15 pounds. So you got a huge weight savings here. This battery is like less than a third of the weight of this, this uh, lead anchor battery. All right, now we're gonna put in the brand new H7 lithium by Omeo. And it's much easier and lighter to work with, which is nice. So you'll get it down in to this space. The only annoyance is this positive terminal uh, breakout panel. So once we get that down and in, then shift it towards the fender and slide it back. Make sure this is free to come out. And then we'll put the, we'll tighten down the leg or the foot mount first with a 13 millimeter. All right, so we'll bring this down in here. And then snug that down, bolt down. Once that's in place, the battery is pretty secure in its spot, but the other bracket is going to go across the top here. So we'll bring this bracket in from underneath. We're going to slide it towards the fender, making sure that we catch the little metal lip that's going to be really hard, if not impossible to see in the video. Then we can secure this side down with your other 13 millimeter bolts. Now with that in place, we can reconnect the negative side first. 
over here. And while doing that, we need to make sure we bring this wire right here up because it's got two connectors on it. One is gonna to go to the negative side. This one needs to come in underneath the bracket and then connect into here. Then you can lock it by pressing that red tab forward. And then we can go ahead and secure that terminal. And you can secure the terminal before you connect that. It really doesn't matter. Now if that's secure, that should not rotate at all. We should have a nice snug connection there. The next piece is gonna come up and this is gonna connect to the positive terminal. And you'll notice I've left the positive cap in place until the last minute because ultimately this is a live battery and we wanna keep ourselves safe. So we always leave battery uh, contacts covered until they absolutely need to be exposed. Now we'll connect this larger of the two connectors into positive breakout panel here. So that's just gonna slide forward until it clicks and then lock it with the red tab. Now we're ready to remove the positive terminal cap and then we will slide this down into place. While doing so, you want to kind of aim it and then press it down fairly quickly. So if the alarm goes off when you're connecting the positive terminal, uh, as it did for us today, then just press the unlock button on your key fob and it'll stop. Now that that is connected, we can tighten that, that lug. I'd put a little downward pressure here and secure it. Now there's the plastic cover that covers all of that back up. And then you have to see finally, you've got a couple of Christmas tree tree connectors that we're gonna put back in place. Now those will keep the wires straight and organized and then we'll put the plastic cover back on the top. This is the final cover. And once that's in place, you've got the fresh 12 volt battery installed. All right, so that's it. This Silverado EV has now been upgraded with the OMU 12 volt lithium battery, and that should give it a lot longer life, save a whole bunch of weight, and of course be a bit more environmentally friendly using less materials in the manufacturing process. And uh, besides all of that, it will give you kind of a neat feature, which on this one is getting the lithium battery, which has our Bluetooth BMS. And that allows you to monitor the battery's performance. So you can see things like the voltage and the current going in and out of the battery, as well as the temperature of the 12 volt battery. But you can also disconnect the 12 volt battery using the app and reconnect it. So if you need to do a reset on your vehicle for any reason, which, I've, which I have seen is not totally uncommon on these Ultium vehicles, that is doable all through, through an app using our app instead of having to actually disconnect the battery physically. If you wanna get this H7 battery for your car, go to omu.com, that's O-H-M-M-U.com. And for any questions, you can email us at support at omu.com or reach out through our support pages, support.omu.com. As always, enjoy your cars.